Hello everyone and welcome to an official Doom Builder 2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and set up Doom Builder 2. So I already have it installed on my computer and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open it using the start menu. Since I'm opening Doom Builder for the very first time I must set some game configurations. To do that I'm going to go to tools and game configurations. In the game configurations, you can see a list of all the engines that you can configure for Doom Builder 2. The only one we're worried about right now is the Doom 2 engine. So the first thing we need to do when setting up the Doom 2 engine is find our main Doom 2 iWOD. So what we're going to do is click Add Resource, and we're going to find our main Doom 2 iWOD. And what this is going to do is basically give us our textures and entities that we can use within our level. But say we wanted to use some different textures, maybe some that weren't, didn't come with the original Doom 2. Well, we could just add another resource. Uh, we could select a WAD file, a directory, or a PK3 file. We're not going to set up any extra textures right now, so we'll just stick with the Doom 2 main iWAD. Now that we have our main resources set up, let's check out the Node Builder tab. Node Builders build geometry structures for our maps. As you can see from the drop down box, there are several node builders to choose from. Currently, we have Zen Nodes Normal selected for when we save a map. And we also have Zen Nodes Fast selected for when we test. When using Zen Nodes Fast, Zen Nodes build your level without a reject table. Because of this, Zen Nodes builds faster. However, you may notice a slowdown if your level is really big. We'll stay with Zen Nodes for now, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the testing tab. In the testing tab, we must set up a game engine in order to test our maps. I am now going to set up the ZDoom engine by locating its EXE. With the engine set up, you will notice there are other settings I can set as well, such as difficulty and other customized parameters. There are no current ones I want to set right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the textures tab. As you can see in the textures tab, there are various texture sets that you can set up and use. But we will cover these in a later tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the modes tab. In the modes tab, you see the various modes that you can use throughout Doom Builder. You can also set up your own modes by using plugins. And finally, you can activate and deactivate any modes that you feel you will not use. Right now I'm going to go ahead and leave all these active, so I'll just click OK. We have now set up our game configuration. The next thing we will do is start a basic map. So we'll go to File and New Map. For game configuration, we're going to select the engine that we just configured, which was the Doom 2 engine. When we selected the Doom 2 engine from game configuration, notice that it automatically loaded our Doom 2 iWAD that we set up previously. We also have something called Level Name. And Level Name is basically going to be your map number. Currently it is set for map 01 so it would be the first map. If we wanted to set it to map 32 though, we would just type map 32. If I hit OK now, I would have a map started on map 32, but I want to start a map on map 01. So we'll just put it, set it back to map 01 and click OK. We have now set up our first map and are ready for lesson 2. In lesson 2, we will cover the creation of basic sectors. Thank you for watching and I will see you next lesson.